Hi, good morning. My name is Maher Lewis and today we're going to be talking about LiDAR data and creating a surface and viewing the surface in Civil 3D 2010. So uh, let's begin. Uh, first, uh, let me show you the LiDAR data that was given to us. Uh, the LiDAR data that was given to us were um, partitioned into um, 2500 by 2500 areas and whatever areas that there was partitioned would have a certain number of points not to exceed let's say 100 and uh, um, 150,000 um, points. So let's open up the first drawing. Um, I have a drawing here, this, you can see it's labeled 100.dwg and uh, every, can, every adjacent uh, drawing which was partitioned is a subsequent number after that so 100, 101, 102 and I, I think I have like 208 of these drawings uh, all, all each one having if not um, 100,000 points uh, but less than 100,000 points okay so let's open up the drawing this is the drawing that I opened up and you can see here it's labeled 100.dwg uh, each point is a LiDAR point, you can see right here, uh, on layer LiDAR points. There's only four layers total. Um, break lines, which you would need uh, when the LiDAR is not able to capture points. Uh, the LiDAR machine is not able to capture points. What, it, what they do is they supplement it with break lines. And then the map sheet, which is what they did to, to partition it. They use map to partition this into 2500 by 2500 areas and uh, so I just looked at one one point and in properties it says it has an X a Y and a Z elevation for each point okay so let's zoom out let's select it all okay give it a second So you can see here, um, I've selected over 100,000 entities, uh, which include these three, enti uh, four entities, three polyline, polyline points in text. And what we want to really uh, capture are the points and the 3D polylines, not the polyline 11 or the text one. Just the points and the 3D polyline to create a surface. Okay. first thing you do to creating a surface is you open up this drawing okay and uh, although this is not a civil 3d drawing it's just a AutoCAD drawing you do a uh, create surface all right in this case since this is DTM 100 I'll call this EG 100 and uh, again this is not a civil 3d drawing so it wouldn't have any style so it would just be standard okay once that's done you expand the surface definition right here it says drawing objects you add and you select the object type that you go the entity the object type that you'll be selecting to be points you say okay okay so it'll it'll get all the points it will not get any of the um, it it will not get the 3D polyline or, or the um, the boundary or the text file. Okay, and there's the surface. You can see it there. Then we'll add the break lines. Oops. Sorry. Um, let's remove. you can see break lines. Then the next thing you do is you export into land XML. Cancel, I'm sorry. Do it from here. <laughs> export land XML. So now it's just surface. Say okay. We're gonna export it into EG one hundred. I mean I I'm I already did it once.
Okay. So now that you've exported it into an XML, we start a new drawing. Now this is a civil 3D drawing. Okay. Um, here you see, it, I didn't even, I haven't even actually done anything. All I did was I created the uh, new drawing uh, using AutoCAD. Right clicked here and said new drawing. I'm doing it again. Hell with it. Number four. All right. Let's do a save. Save. I'm gonna put on my desktop. We'll call this um, EG100 because that's what the original file was called. Okay. So now what you do is you import the XML, doing it this way. There's my XML drawing. I mean XML file. Now this is important here. What you don't want is you don't want the uh, source data. You see this? You don't want that. You want everything else besides the source data because the source data will be will be that huge file. Uh, you want to make this as as uh, small as possible. Okay. Okay. So there's your surface. And uh, let's zoom in just to take a look at it. So here you can see it's very ugly. Um, there's a lot of crap uh, generated. You know, you can see right here. And that that is a problem. So let's let's solve that problem by smoothing out these contours. Uh, lidar data, uh, when you view it, when you when you check your when you create a style to view it in, will always start out looking like this. So how do you fix it? You expand the surface information, all right, and then under edits, you simplify the surface. You have two options to simplify a surface. First option is, is called edge. The other one's called point removal. Okay. This is the one you want to do. It's called edge. Okay? This is nothing. And then it says what percent of the total number of points. And here it says it has 110,000 points to remove. You remove 100% of it. Why do you need points when you have a surface? You don't. You have 10 lines and that's enough. Let's hit finish. There you go. That's your surface. Now, you may say, whoa, what is this? All right? All right, fine. When you uh, go to your properties, you can change this guy. You see this contours 2 and 10 background? Let's just do a copy. I'm going to put my, my name in here. Okay? My initials, ML. Okay? I'm going to hit apply. My name is then now says it's been modified. Contour smoothing. True. Adversities, yes. Fly, say okay. There, now it's smooth. <laughs> Alright? So that's as as easy as it becomes. When it comes to LiDAR data, um, you know, you want to be able to do what you, you need to be able to do it, do the um, the work and be able to uh, be proud of it. You don't want to, you know, you don't want any problems. Obviously, this is what the surface looks like when you uh, ultimately look at it in 3D. Um, so they they have way less uh, triangles and it's more manageable this way. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching.